Comic Zone was released in 1995 for the Sega Mega Drive and or Genesis, depending on whereabouts you're from. It is 100% one of my favourite Sega Mega Drive games, and it stands out by a massive mile over a lot of other games released at the time with its vibrant colours and its comic book-esque style gameplay. It follows Sketch Turner and his pet rat. He's a starving artist from New York City and he is in the process of writing his new comic and he gets struck by a bolt of lightning during a thunderstorm bringing to life Mortis which is a powerful mutant from within the comic and Sketch gets put in the comic. Mortis is now drawing the comic and trying to kill him while Sketch is trying to escape. It's a bit out there and a bit elaborate, but go with it. It's it's an, it's an old ass game, okay? It, they, they just they're they're weird, all right? They're just weird. However, the game is fantastic. It has some really cool combat. It has some really cool mechanics, and just a massive variety on bad guys and levels and uh, things to grab hold of, items to use, power ups to gain. And the game, although it was originally based on a demo for the Commodore Amiga back in 1992, it made a big impact on the Sega Mega Drive and came out to rave reviews. Uh, it's one of the beat-em-ups that really do stand out a mile and uh, one that amongst myself and some of my friends loved playing through. There is a challenge to the game, but after you get past the first couple of chapters, you'll be able to start from the beginning of uh, uh, levels instead of all the way at the beginning of the game again, which, of course, as we all know, before the age of saving games on every game, of course, some RPGs had battery saves in the cartridges for the NES and the Sega. We know this, but before then... Unless you had passwords and stuff, you were screwed, man. You'd get all the way to the death, you know, to to, to a, a, a boss at the end of a game, die, and that's it, you're gone, you know? Get get, get to the end of the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 against that bullshit of a boss against Dr. Robotnik, die, that's it, start all the way back from Green Hill Zone. Hell no! Uh, <laughs> but, if you have not played Comic Zone, it's very easy to... It's very cheap, it's very easy to get on, I think you can get it on phones even, uh, and you can get it on nearly everything. Uh, it, it's usually included in a lot of Sega Mega Drive uh, bundles and whatnot, uh, or you could just, you know, like emulate it, you know, you could, I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there, I'm just saying. Um, but, yeah, it, it, it's, it's fantastic and 100% a game I would love to see. Not necessarily redone, because I think the game's graphical art style has a very it, it it's it's got it's got a lot of character which is really important and i think a lot of games have lost with the wanting to go more realistic directions and stuff but there's nothing wrong with the game having a bit of a, a bit of this you know a bit of character and being able to hop across the comic book panels and beat the living crap out of bad guys and uh, find ways off of the panels and uh, and with different events happening plus there's callbacks to all kinds of different pop culture references like alien and terminator and whatnot um, there's just so much that you could do with a, a more modern comic zone. Just keep it still 2D, keep the graphical art style pretty much the same. But I don't know, add in a bit of free roaming where you can... You don't have to wait until you've beaten the bad guys to swap to the next panel. You have to find keys within the pages, so you've got to keep hopping to and fro and finding this uh, this item from one panel to take it up to another panel. That would be pretty cool. That's kind of the innovation that I think it would need. But if you were to take this game, put it in 3D, I don't think it would have the same effect. I don't know if it had the same sort of like feel, but if you kept it 2D and just brought it onto modern consoles, 100%, I would get that immediately and play the crap out of it. I mean, they did the same more recently with the Streets of Rage games. They made Streets of Rage 4, which is really, really cool. And with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, 
amazing, absolutely amazing beat em up. There is still a market for them, people still want them and need them. And if they're done right, you got yourself a decent game that people will constantly keep buying. And that's it at the end of the day. Game development used to be about making the next best game. More so now, it's how much money can we make off this game, unfortunately. That's why I don't do much modern gaming content, like with new games being released. I don't really get games on release anymore because, well, A, they're more expensive and B, they're more often than not released broken and it's not acceptable and I'm just not funding it. I'll pick games up, like for example, as of this video being released, Hogwarts Legacy is releasing in a couple of weeks. I, I'm a massive Harry Potter fan. I do want the game. I'm very skeptical. Ever since Cyberpunk, I'm very, very skeptical. Uh, it does look too good to be true, and I'm going to wait for the other bigger YouTubers to get it, review it, it come out, and it go down in price on CD keys, maybe to about 30 quid in a couple of months. Then I'll grab it. You know, I, I, I'm happy to wait. I, I don't have any fear of missing out or anything like that. But games like this, if we were to just go back and look at the amazing games in the back catalogue of gaming. There are some that can be brought into the modern world and not really be changed all that much. Now this one, Gunstar Heroes is another one. And Ristar as well, probably. That would make a really good modern game. Just tweak it a little bit and there you go. I mean, look, what, look how popular Sonic Mania was when that was released, you know? There's a market for it and it can be done. But please let me know in the comments if you've played Comic Zone or if uh, there's any any Mega Drive games, or, or if you call it Genesis games, <laughs> uh, that you would like to see come to more modern consoles with a little bit more of a modern edge, but not taking away what makes the game special. But thank you very much for watching.